Hey y'all, Glenn with G1 Outdoors back for another video. Today I'm taking the opportunity to get reacquainted with my compound bow. It's been a little while since I've got to shoot this thing. I um, moved to a neighborhood down in South Carolina and I don't have the property to shoot this anymore. Then with COVID and all of that, haven't got to travel out and do a whole lot of things with it. So I'm excited to get to shoot this thing today. I'm gonna do some practice, just getting reacquainted and uh, getting ready for this upcoming deer season. The Garrett property, if you've watched the other videos that I've been putting on where I've been trying to prepare that property for hunting season, um, this is what I'm gonna be using out there. There's not a whole lot of space, so I definitely wanna be safe and I'm gonna go with a compound bow. On top of that, I have not yet taken a deer with a compound bow, so I'm uber excited for the opportunity to do that. I don't care if it's a big 10 point or a doe, I'm just excited to get that opportunity. Real quick, I was gonna show you my setup. Uh, it's nothing fancy. It is 100% stock besides for the stabilizer. Uh, got a lot of things that I plan to do on this bow um, and some upgrades that I wanna do, just haven't had the opportunity to. And when you don't shoot something for a long time, it kinda just sits in the case, you kinda forget about it as well. So um, glad to be revisiting this and getting back into it. So just real quick, this is a a uh, diamond bow made by Bowtech. I got it two years ago. It's either a 2017-2018 model. Um, I don't remember exactly which model it is. That's uh, kind of bad of me. But it came with three pin uh, sight, which is Apex. Uh, works well. Do plan on upgrading the sight, but for right now it works. I haven't killed a deer with it, so it's kind of like, eh. Let me start out with something that's a little bit on the basic side and then we'll move up to something more, especially as I get into this more. Um, right now the draw is at 50 pounds. Getting used to pulling that, holding that back, and uh, shooting the bow, so something that i am uh, really been working on here lately. Came with a bristle rest, uh, somewhat like a whisk, whisker biscuit, but it's only got three brushes on there. It works well. It's starting to show some wear now. I definitely want to put a drop down rest on that. I'm not really sure which one I'm going with. If you've got any suggestions, please leave it down in the comments. Uh, I'm always open. And I'm sure there's people who are going to watch this that are much more, um, much more seasoned when it comes to bow hunting than I am. So if you have any suggestions, that's much appreciated. Uh, down here, I just have a, a GoPro mount on my uh, stabilizer. Probably not the best thing for shooting, but one of the easiest places for me to mount this. I've got an Apex Gear stabilizer, which does have adjustable weights on it. I haven't really played with it a whole lot, but it hasn't hurt me yet either, so it's working well. Right now, uh, I'm shooting 100, tip field, 100, grain, 100 grain field tips for practice. I do have 100 grain um, warthogs that I'm using for hunting with. I'm not sure if I'm going to stick with them or move to something else. Again, if you've got a suggestion, please leave it in the comments below. All in all, it's been a great bow. I think I gave $325, $350 for it, complete as it is. Um, really a very easy price point to get into this sport on. So, without any more delay, and much to my chagrin, I'm going to go ahead and start flinging some arrows downrange and getting some practice back in with this thing. Hang on, I will be right back with you with some arrows going down range. All right, so I've done some shots from 20 yards. I've done some from 30. Feel pretty confident in those two distances right now. Looks like my pins are still on from this last season. Now I'm gonna do some simulation of being in like a, uh, in a uh, tree stand. So if you look behind me, you can see a ledge above me. It's about 
eight feet or so, can, getting closer to 10, the closer it gets to the house there. And all I'm gonna be doing is doing shots from 20 yards uh, from that ledge. What I'm trying to do with this is really simulate standing in a tree stand and shooting down at a deer. Uh, the only time I've actually got to shoot at a deer with my bow was two seasons ago and first time I'd ever shot at a deer, first time I'd definitely ever done it from a tree stand. And I ended up going over the deer's back. Um, chalk it up to nerves, adrenaline, inexperience, all of the above is what it could have been. But one thing that I do have control over is practicing like it's going to be when I get an opportunity to shoot a deer with my bow. So I'm using this to try to help me with getting that technique down. I've read a lot of things on it, watched videos on it, watched YouTube videos on it. And um, one of the things that I know that, I've, that I did that day and that I've done in the past as well is moving my arms down towards the target, not moving at the waist. So that's something that I'm gonna concentrate on doing is trying to move at the waist to get that downward trajectory towards my target. So I'm gonna get set up on the ledge. I've got my target out there, make sure it's about 20 yards. And we're gonna see how well I do with this. All right, so I just got done shooting those arrows. I got three down there from the elevated position I'm at. This is not exactly the same as, as shooting out of a tree stand. Um, something I am trying to figure out how to do is set up an actual tree stand somewhere around here and just practice out of it. Uh, don't really have the trees right now to do that with. So trying to uh, figure that out, but something I definitely want to do it is different shooting out of a tree stand than it is shooting from the ground. And if you're one of these people who can go spot and stalk and doing that type of thing, it's great. You're gonna be shooting from the ground. You're walking up on whatever you're trying to hunt and that's, that's awesome, something I definitely want to do. I uh, don't have the opportunity to do it much around here. There's too much woods, they smell me, they hear me from coming farther away and I can't see them from a far distance. So. Definitely not something I get a chance to do uh, around here. But hopefully in the coming years, I will get to go do some spot and stop. But until then, I'm gonna keep practicing shooting on the ground just for good technique, making sure I know my distances, that type of thing, and then shooting from an elevated position. Right now, um, that ledge that I was just shooting from really is the best place I have for that so far. And like I said, that's not great. It's only about eight feet off the ground. And I mean, is not ideal but it is better than just shooting from ground level got three of them down here not a horrible group i'm going to do some more practice try to get back into the groove of thing i, I really haven't been shooting a bow that much uh, for the last couple of seasons mainly because I moved down to south carolina i live on a much smaller piece of property now and i can't shoot the bow i mean i'm in a neighborhood i don't want the cops getting called for me shooting a bow or having a an arrow go through the fence or getting somebody hurt I definitely don't want to do that so I'm going to uh, play it safe shoot when I'm up here when I get a chance to and try to find some other places to shoot I hope you've enjoyed this video I know it's not anything spectacular but remember whenever you're practicing quality is better than quantity any day so the more realistic you can make that practice the better off you're gonna be that's something I'm trying to do I'm definitely trying to get into this I love shooting my bow and I can't wait to take a deer with it. Until next time, this is Glenn with G1 Outdoors. I uh, hope you stay safe out there and have fun in the outdoors.